This is the 1946 Chevrolet pickup truck window crank removed from the dashboard. Someone's added this T-handle to this. This is the handle you turn above the dashboard. But if I turn the T-handle, you'll see this long skinny piece of metal Just tracks up. And that's, that would be the windshield up here connected to the windshield uh, moving out. And then you crank, crank the handle back if it worked. This would move the windshield back. But the problem is the crank uh, gear, arm gear, is supposed to engage right here and it doesn't. So if I turn the crank, nothing happens. Uh, there is a little brass block that goes in this where this cotter pin is that goes in that's supposed to keep the these two gears engaged so it's possible on this one that if we replace, replace that block it'll push the gears back together and the crank will work uh, the one from slick doesn't look quite as good it does have the brass block uh, still has a rivet in it, but when you crank this one, same thing, nothing happens. Only this one is also missing the metal piece, which would be probably a little tricky to build. It's a uh, sort of spring steel. See, it's very springy. Little square rectangular holes in it to engage the gear. Uh, it's got an end on it that hooks to a little housing on the windshield. At least we have that still. So that's that's the challenge. Here's the gear back here. So you can see that a little bit. Uh, you can see that one off on the other one too. Nothing wrong with it, I don't think. So that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Not sure if this is fixable or not. Supposedly you can uh, buy a new one if you have a good core, but the core supposedly has to be really good. Maybe the core on slick would be um, good enough, but don't know about Bubba. That's it.